All right, if you want to build a data set, select that option from the activity list at left, and then enter the credentials for a Salesforce account over here on the right, and click the Next button, and you'll go to the Build Dataset interface. Let's create a new data set called Archive with a new template. Click the Next button, and the first thing you'll need to do is select parent objects for your data set. So, for example, let's select Account. Now we can either grab all records, we can grab records by name, or we can grab records with a filter. Let's just grab all the account records. Now you can navigate up and down this list and select any number of parents for your data set. When you select a parent, it will appear in bold on the list. To deselect a parent, simply navigate to that option and choose No Selection. The next thing you'll do is select children for your data set. So, for example, the account object is often connected to contacts, and the account object is often connected to opportunities. So, once you select the children for the parent objects, you're ready to advance to the next step. Now, the Load Fields tab probably doesn't require any changes on your part. The parents and the children um, automatically load all of their available fields Fields that can't be updated or created are not usually loaded because you can't do anything with them, but you might want to load them. If you look down here, though, you'll see external references for the parent and children objects. So, for example, the opportunity object has a reference to price books, and the account and contacts have an owner, which is a reference to a user. Now, sometimes you do want to load some, available, some extra fields for the external references. For example, if you want to search for destination users by username and email, then be sure to load the email field as extra information for the user external reference. All right, then lastly, you go to the last screen, you see your parent and children objects, click the Build Datasets button, and this will fetch all that information from the Salesforce org and create a data set on your personal computer. Monarch uses the bulk data API and runs everything into batches, and so it's capable of downloading absolutely gigantic data sets. And there we go. You can see we downloaded 4,000 accounts, 300 contacts, and 200 opportunities. Now, if you click OK, you'll go back to the main interface, and you can migrate the data set or do something else. But if you click Next, you can either create another data set or you can replace the existing data set that you just created or any of your other data sets. And you'll see the options now to either create a new template, use the existing template that you just created, or select one of our pre-built templates. For example, here's price books and products. So this makes it very, very easy to grab pre-built templates or existing templates that you've created out of your org for the creation of additional data sets. All right, that's all the information about build datasets.